you'll see this in every American city. Parking on both sides of the street and there's a parking garage. It's almost as if we're addicted to our cars. But we need parking to get people into our city and free parking. Lots of it, right? Wrong. Over the last century, a zoning law called minimum parking requirements that dictates the amount of off-street parking needed for all types of buildings has spread across the country. It even tells you sometimes, in some cities, that you need multiple parking spots for one studio apartment. Minimum parking requirements can stifle large developments from getting built, especially affordable housing, because you have to add all this space in garages. Parking actually costs cities. This space, and especially large empty lots, could be used to build housing or stores and bring a lot more revenue. On-street and free parking actually encourages people to drive into the downtown. Okay, so what do we do about this parking mess? One of the first things is we can get rid of the parking minimum requirements and actually help put them this waste of space a lot. They can use this space to add more housing and stores. And cities can reduce the need to park and drive by investing in efficient public transit infrastructure and shared micromobility infrastructure, such as for bikes and scooters, and encourage rideshare. This can lead to more affordable, sustainable, and accessible cities. 